He wasn't an engineer, but he had a really good sense for how things worked. And he made very strong structures that have uh, withstood moderate earthquakes and winds. And, and it's just they're a little bit old and they need some help to last another 50 or 100 years. Somewhere up here, I wanted to look at torsion. So at the same elevation? Um, maybe a ladder elevation. They've experienced earthquakes, they've experienced strong winds, and they've experienced the daily temperature cycles. And we're trying to figure out which one of those is the main cause of the cracks. Uh, and then the conservator's job, LACMA, their job is to figure out how to fix that. Because for 40, 50 years, they have been repairing this monument, and everything failed. Cracks always reappeared, so the question that came uh, to me that I inherited is why? UCLA brings in a next level of sophistication of equipment and experience in a different field that will contribute very synergistically to what we already have done. The structure's moving about an inch or two at the top, um, doing a, a big ellipse every day. And when it does that, the internal forces generated will stress out the, the mortar and also the concrete covering and can cause cracks. So they need a magic recipe, if you will, that can accommodate the motions of the cracks. And for that, they need to know how much the cracks actually open and close. This is providing uh, at least one, maybe two grad students with PhD level work. And we're collecting continuous data from our basic sensor set here, and we've learned some things, but we've also had a lot more questions raised. You ready for a sensor? Yep. yep. Well, conservation is essentially the intersection of science and art. The conservation scientists are geared toward material science. What they needed from us, though, is a structural engineering viewpoint, because these are not only objects of art, but they're structures. And to keep them going for another 50 or 100 years, you've got to understand how they're working as, as structures. And that's what we're doing. So what do I think about Simon Rodio's engineering skills? Yes. He had good intuition, and he built an excellent, uh, safe, and beautiful structure. And it's very impressive when you understand that this was built by a single person by hand uh, with just rudimentary tools, it's amazing. Yeah.